Prince Charles had revealed there are burdens of expectations and a sense of sacrifice that come from being a member of the royal family and shared his thoughts on an accident of birth that dictates his destiny as king. The Prince of Wales, 73, made the admission while chatting with Sir Kenneth Branagh, who was hoping to get inside the head of a royal family member as preparation for a film adaptation of Henry V. The actor directed and starred in the screen adaptation of Shakespeare's play in 1989. In a new interview, Sir Kenneth revealed that Prince Charles came to act as an unofficial advisor on the film. On getting inside the head of a member of the royal family, Sir Kenneth said, I thought, well, how do you find out about what that's like? I was voicing these concerns over a pint with a friend of mine who said, well, actually, you know, I do know someone who knows someone. He said, if you're serious and you will be discreet. And so he arranged a number of intermediary meetings. I was very clearly screened. But eventually I met Prince Charles, who was very open, particularly about the burdens of expectations, and the fact of isolation. And this to me was very interesting. From speaking with the heir to the throne, Sir Kenneth said the prince and other members of the royal family acknowledge that their privileged position is an accident of birth. Sir Kenneth disclosed his conversations with royalty when speaking to the Hollywood Reporters Awards Chatter podcast. The actor explained that Charles spoke very quietly, before adding people in authority often do. They don't need to raise their voices. Sir Kenneth noted he was particularly moved by the degree of thoughtfulness and attention to detail that the prince and other members of the firm put into meeting members of the public. He said the prince had told him that he endeavored to particularize and individualize and make moments memorable, and a desire to connect with people who were often dazzled by the job title, as it were. According to Sir Kenneth, Charles also explained that upon encountering him at charitable events, most people only became themselves a couple of minutes before their encounter ended. The actor and filmmaker also said that Charles' position in the royal family, and his sense of duty were intrinsic parts of his being, which he was able to view in their meetings. He also says that Charles showed a commitment to serve his people and his country. Sir Kenneth said, so he had to make an extra effort to make that connection and accept that there would always be a separation. That does something to somebody's insides. It does something to the way they then make decisions about other people's welfare. Built in, and I could see it in every fabric of his being, is a sense of duty, a sense of privilege, a sense of sacrifice. For all of the, as it were, first class life that, the royal family, lead, they know it's an accident of birth and one that they need to meet by a commitment to serving others. And I saw in his case a genuine expression of that. Prince Charles was among those who attended the film's premiere, and he and Sir Kenneth remained friends, with the actor being among the guests at his wedding to the Duchess of Cornwall in 2005. Sir Kenneth also recited the opening prologue from Henry V at a gala show to celebrate the Prince's 70th birthday back in 2018.